Hello everyone, welcome to another video with Cass on the Mismo channel. Some of you guys requested a block by block tutorial on the, those displays and I think it makes a lot of sense since uh, this is supposed to work on all versions of Minecraft since it's based on only the basic components of the game. So yeah guys, let's get started. For those of you who missed my last video, I included a link in the video description that you guys might want to check out. Besides explaining everything about those displays and, and telling you how versatile they are, uh, it also includes uh, links to download this map as well as a bunch of structure blocks. And what these structure blocks do is they allow you to place those displays uh, side by side like you see back there or in any disposition that you want without having to build this thing block by block. Uh, and also in that video, I mentioned that one of the reasons you might want to have a display, a seven segment display that uh, accepts uh, signal strength as input is because if you do any calculations or any other machines that deal with binary numbers, it's very easy to convert binary numbers into uh, signal strength. And this is here just for a demonstration. So let's turn on the display. And this is a zero because this is also uh, zero in binary. So this would be a one, binary one. So as you can see, we also have a binary one. Uh, let's try a five, for instance. So yeah, this would be a five. Uh, this would be a nine in binary. So there's your nine. So yeah, very easy to convert. Uh, you can turn off the display any, at any time. Uh, yeah, this, here's how I convert everything. If you don't know how this works, I can make a video uh, for you guys. But okay, that's all. Let's move on to the tutorial, guys. The display itself is only 7x4, but you're going to need a total footprint of 4x13. And this, the, build, the entire build is going to be 9 high in total. So let's start by filling a little platform in here. You don't actually need uh, those blocks in here, so you can get rid of them if you so desire. <laughs> and here you can have a furnace, I mean here. Uh, inside the furnace you want to have 12 snowballs and one unstackable item, uh, so you can get uh, a signal strength level of 9. You can check this if you want. And this should be on subtraction mode, just like you see in here. So you can actually extend this all the way up here and place one comparator uh, in the end. And now on the opposite side, you can place your repeaters and they're all going to be magically set to four ticks. Ta-da, magic. All right, so now we wanna have a bunch of solid blocks in here, a total of 10 and then 10 torches on top of everything. So uh, here also two uh, comparators and two comparators in here as well. And I'll place solid blocks alternating like this. More comparators and redstone dust here at the end. This is very important. And now uh, this block is going to be your input. Uh, if you're going to power this from below, you're probably going to uh, get rid of this block and replace this block with a slab, just to be clear in here. But for testing purposes, we are going to use uh, either a full furnace in here or a full hopper in here, anything that you want. And then a comparator on subtraction mode followed by a solid block. So all of your torches should be off by now. If you want to test this thing, just place 10 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then you can have a bunch of uh, levers in here and you can test the signal strength decoder already. So. Flip the lever, first, first torch turns on, third from the back corresponds to the third from the back, so this should be working. All right, so let's start by extending this torch tower. So just place solid blocks, then 10 more torches, and then another line. And this is going to be our last line of uh, torches, of vertical torches anyways, and then one more line of solid blocks. So Three lines of solid blocks and three lines of torches. Okay, time to do some encoding, guys. And this is going to be simpler than you expect. 
So start by placing blocks here on this side next to the uh, torch tower. And then you're going to have a repeater on four ticks here, followed by another repeater on one tick here. This is for synchronization. And then those numbers are going to be zero, one, and two. So two is the only number that doesn't require this segment to be uh, turned on, which is something that people who design uh, seven segment displays uh, exploit in general. But uh, with this one, it was just more useful to have this signal line. Okay, so now we're going to do the blue line, which is on the opposite side. So just extend it all the way uh, up here. Just do a curve like this. Place a repeater on four ticks connecting to this block. And then you can have redstone dust on top of everything. Back here, you just want to have a solid block with a little torch tower. And then have a comparator here on subtraction mode. So this is your blue line complete. So if you're doing this in survival, it's easier to just build a platform in here so you don't fall and place one repeater. So skip one, place two, skip one, place two, skip one, place two. Easy as this. Our next line is going to be also very easy to do. So just place solid blocks in here all the way. And here we place a repeater on four ticks and then redstone dust on top of everything. And for the torches, we just skip the first block here from the back and place one, skip one. And here, two more torches like this. So you can pause the video if this is getting confusing to you. Okay, next line, just extend this, place a repeater on three ticks and then redstone dust all over. And here you want to do another platform like so, then place one comparator here, skip three blocks. So one, two, three, and place two more. And now uh, a repeater and another piece of redstone dust. And actually you don't need that piece, uh, those redstone dust in there. So this is simple like this, except you need this to be on subtraction mode. So now let's do the other side. It should also be very easy. So just extend a line like so. And from the back, count three blocks with redstone dust, place a comparator, a solid block, and then redstone dust extends all the way up to here. You can have another solid block here and a repeater also on three ticks. I forgot to add a little something down here. So just place those blocks in here a repeater on one tick connecting to that comparator in there. So this comes from the torch, just in case you're wondering. And now we can have a piece of redstone dust in here and repeater on three ticks there. Another repeater on three ticks, solid block, count two blocks from here, place a comparator and you can have redstone, redstone dust on top of everything else. So here, uh, there are some blocks that you need to cover, but not all of them. So uh, if you if you don't if you just don't want to worry about it, just cover everything like this. It looks better, anyways, and well, it covers everything, so it doesn't rain on top of your display. Finally, to the orange circuit. So uh, this is going to be the, your first torch. So this is going to be zero, one, two, three, and four. So on number four, you place a torch. And then you can start placing a alternating pattern of blocks like this. And just place redstone dust here and two repeaters on top of each block. And now this thing should be ready to test. Okay, so uh, let's do it in a nice way. So this is your zero and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and nine. All right, guys. So this thing is finally working. As I told you before, uh, you can either subtract from this guy, or if you want to do flush designs like this, you probably want to power this block directly. So uh, we have a signal, a signal strength of level 15 in here, but 
uh, if, if we have a signal strength of level 0, we will display a 9. So uh, level 15 is just something that you want to use in order, or 15, or anything above 9. So 10 or, or more will just turn off the, the display. Uh, also, some people might find it uh, a little bit more convenient to just take the entire red circuit and invert it. So it starts on the left side and ends on the right side. By inverting, I mean starting on the right side instead. So, so that the, the input is going to be here at the back. But it's going, to be, it's going to be two blocks extra in here. So it's going to be a little bit bigger, but possibly more convenient to you. But if you're, if you're building this, you probably know what you're doing because you're doing computers in Minecraft. So you understand a lot, of, a lot about Redstone. Uh, what I like to do here is to use terracotta blocks because the black concrete blocks, I think those those don't go as well with this one, but it's a matter of preference, of course. Depends on your texture pack as well. But yeah, this is your display. It looks pretty amazing. You can also cover it from here. Let's just get rid of this lever just so we can see a number. <laughs> and that's it, guys. That's your very much compact, silent, and fast uh, seven segment display. So now there is only one thing I need to take care of. You see the problem uh, is I apparently I have an endless supply of nines in here. It's way too many nines guys and it's a little bit disturbing. I don't know. I don't know if you guys feel comfortable around so many nines like this. So maybe you should press this button but I'm not sure. Will this be satisfying? <laughs> well, hopefully so, guys. So let's try to press the button and see how well things go for us. Yeah. <laughs> guys, uh, thank you very much for watching. Love that you have you here. Hope this works on any version of uh, Minecraft that you want to play. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you like it, this video. And I hope to see you soon, guys. Bye.